everyone is so confused when it comes to investing. Everyone thinks that to invest, all you have to do is find the next Tesla or the next Amazon or the next Google or the next whatever stock that is going to 100x or 10x or whatever. Everyone is so focused on what is the next hot stock to buy. I swear, if I had a dollar for every single time somebody asked me, so what stock should I buy today? I'll already be a millionaire and I won't have to be making these videos all the time. That's a lie. Even if I was a millionaire, I'll probably still be making videos. But all the time I get this question, what is the hot stock to buy? What stock should I buy? And that is the wrong focus, especially for those of us who are just starting out on our investing journey. Everyone is so focused so heavily on what is the stock to buy and we miss out on the bigger picture. You see, the key to successful investing is not about finding the next 10x stock. The key to successful investing is consistency, is doing it over and over and over and over again so that then you see the compound and take effect. You see it roll down a hill, the snowball effect take its place and then actually it becomes something substantial. Let me give you a quick story. I've told this story multiple times before. The first stock I ever bought, actually, I'll just show it to you. But the first stock I ever bought was Microsoft. And you can see it in here. I bought Microsoft in a share. It was one share, as you can see right here, one share. And I bought it for $111. Beautiful, $111. I thought I was, I was like, yeah, I'm going to invest. But at that point in time, I only thought you needed to buy one. I didn't understand the idea of actual investing. I didn't understand that I had to do it consistently. I had to do it over and over and over again. Since that time, Microsoft, at one point, this thing had actually like doubled. Had more than doubled, actually. Microsoft has more than doubled for me in that portfolio. But it's $111, which means it only became $289. So please, that doesn't mean anything. What is $200 going to do with my life? It's not going to change much. It's not going to change much. And so, but that's the thing I see so consistently for most people. Everyone is looking to make that one-time investment that will completely change their entire life. Now, let's flip this around. Let's say, for example, rather than just investing one time in Microsoft and with that $100, I made it every single month where I was investing $100 over the last five years. And we know that the S&P 500 has returned. Let's just look at it. S&P 500 in the last five years, or in that year, I think that was 2000, the first time I bought a stock. I think that was 2016. So if we go and say since 2016 till now, that's about the last five years, we'll just go go right here. Since 2017 till now, the stock market has returned about 67%. As we started, 69%, about 70%. If we put that, we annualize that rate, that's about, what, 10-ish percent over that time frame. So we'll say over that time, the S&P 500 in the last six years has returned 10%. We calculate that. I would have $9,000 if I was just investing $100 every month. Rather than just doing a one-time investment, but investing $100 every month in the last six years into it. Now, that doesn't seem that crazy because, you know, $7,200, I only made, what, $9,200 on that. It doesn't seem that crazy. It's like, okay, yeah, man, like, oh, it's so much money. But now let's extrapolate that. Let's make that a lot longer time frame. Let's say over the next... 30 plus years, I keep investing $100, still getting that about 10%. In fact, let's turn this down to 8%. And we say 30 years later, we're still investing $100 every every year. Now that becomes $135,000 with me only putting in $36,000. Now let's change that. Let's say I actually decide to take this thing seriously, but rather than just looking for the next best investment to give me 20%, 30% or anything like that, I decide, you know what? Let me focus on my savings rate. Rather than just saving $100 a month, let me focus on finding ways to increase my income so I can continue to save even more money. So rather than saving $100, I'm able to save over time. I get better jobs. I keep doing well in my in my career. I keep increasing my savings. I keep doing very well every single thing around me. I just keep focusing on my job so I can keep saving more money. I'm able to get this up to $500 over the next 30 years. How much do you think I'm going to come up with? Double this? Or how much do you think? We calculate that. Just the 8% return, now I'm sitting at $679,000 with me only investing $180,000. Now, let's say that things are going really well and now I'm able to save $1,000 a month. Let's just try that. $1,000 a month. What does that look like? What does that look like? $1,000 still at that 8% and still over 30 years. Now I have $1.3 million. 
The point I'm trying to make is stop focusing on trying to find the next big thing. Stop focusing on trying to find the next 2000x stock or 100x stock or going on YouTube and searching what is the next stock to blow up or whatever. Stop doing that. That is a waste of your time and waste of your energy. What you need to be focused on is how can I make myself better? How can I make myself more useful to society? What are the skill sets that I can build up so that I can make this money? And when you make that money, it's not for you to just start spending it and increasing your lifestyle. I'm not saying you shouldn't do that. We should enjoy the fruits of our labor, but not all the fruits. You got to take the seed and plant that thing so it can keep growing for you. As they say, it takes money to make money. And so as you get higher in your career and you keep making more money, it's not for you to just eat all that money. It's for you to save some of it and increase your savings rate. The most important thing when it comes to investing is twofold. One is you consistently doing it. Is you consistently investing month over month, year over year. It's not a one-time thing. It's you doing it over and over and over again. And the second thing is your savings rate. Can you increase that? Can you make more savings? Can you find ways to increase your income? If you do these two things, you will start to see the snowball effect just take over. You'll be less stressed paying attention to all the market news and all the things that's going on around you because you know like over the long run, I'm going to be good. I'm going to be all right. And that's what we need to focus on when it comes to investing. It's not finding the next big stock. It's not finding the next Amazon, the next Tesla, the next whatever fill in the blank stock that you want to put in there. It is for you to stay focused on your savings rate, on your savings rate. If you're able to save just, a, if you're able to save what, $500 and you're working real hard, you're doing everything you can over the next 20 years and you, you, you're able to generate a 15% return, which by the way, that's like, that's literally Warren Buffett level. If you're able to get 15% a year on your investment, you come up with $614,000. That's amazing. Now, let's say for somebody like me who's lazy and all I do is just pay attention to what I want to do at work. And when I come home, I hang out with my family. I go to see my friends, you know, but my savings rate is pretty good. A thousand dollars over the next 20 years, just that 8% return, not even anything crazy, just about 8%. I come up with $549,000, which is not that less. It's not that much less, which with the S&P 500 is anywhere from eight to 10%. So it could be 10% and I'll be good too. So the point I'm trying to make is don't focus so heavily on just trying to get the next big thing. Focus more on getting your skill sets in a place where you're actually able to generate more income. This was just the off the cuff random one that popped in my head because I've been seeing too many hot stocks to buy next videos. But anyway, I'm going to catch y'all up on the next one. Remember, generosity is always greater than greed. God bless each and every single one of y'all. And I'm out. Peace. Whoosh.